So a really important topic that we have not discussed yet is documentation, documentation of your source code and producing documentation for other programmers. There are a lot of ways we can do this, but these days the industry standard is to use something called documentation comments or doc comments for short. And these came about with Java and uh, there's a special tool called Javadoc. And what this does is this processes documentation comments into more readable documentation in either HTML format or maybe uh, PDF. So this is a good tutorial. If you just do a Google search on documentation comments, you'll find a lot of resources. This is Oracle's page on how to write doc comments for the Javadoc tool. This is really a, an industrial level tutorial. It's probably a little more than what we need. But at some point, once you get proficient with the basics, this would be a good document for you to read. There's also a Wikipedia page. It's focused on Javadoc, but if you write comments appropriate for the Javadoc uh, documentation generator or documentation processor, then they'll work for other documentation generators and processors. The documentation generator that we are going to use is called Doxygen. And as you can see, you can generate documentation from C++ as well as a lot of other languages, including Java, actually. Now, once we get finished generating our documentation, this is what it's going to look like. You can see that, and, and keep in mind that this is for you, the programmer, uh, you know, so that you can remember or understand how to use your own software without actually looking at the code and you get this nice hyperlink. It's also for other programmers who might be working on your team and it would be for other programmers to whom you've sold your software or who are using software that you've uh, made available. And you can see that it lists the public member functions of our class. The public attributes, the friend functions that we've implemented, and then you have specific details about the methods, how they're used, and things like that. So this is the kind of documentation that we'll ultimately be generating. 